Welcome back to The Blend. When it comes to selling gold, silver, perhaps cherished possessions, there are so many places here in Las Vegas to go. Sure. But if you'd like that personalized touch to know the history of the item mm. or enjoy hearing a story to go along with it, have we got the guys for you? <laughs> we certainly do. Our friend John Jankowski is back. He's the owner of the Las Vegas Coin Company. Also joining us, Scott Delorge. He's a collectibles buyer. Gentlemen, welcome in. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Hi. Good morning. We're uh, we're all snug together. We yeah, got we some are. Really cool things, including this amazing orange painting that has a, a a special, very special skill. It's almost a part of the family. Good morning, orange painting. Good morning, John. <laughs> Whoa! Did, the painting just did, talk that just, John? did that just talk? I hope she doesn't mind if we sell her. Okay, well, fantastic. This is getting a little uncomfortable. I, I've uh, never what's seen her story there, John? <laughs> <laughs> tell, us, tell us about her. The, <laughs> the orange painting has been a part of our family. Oh, God. Here, I'm going to do this again. <laughs> it's no, been a part of our family yeah. for a long time. I, I had an office for a while. And that was in my office. Really? Now we've transported it to the shop, and it's been, it's been with us for quite a few months, but years it's, actually. It's in your office. And so we've know. even, we, no, it's in the shop now, and we've even done some videos on the orange painting. Mm. It's become a part of the family, but I think okay. it's time for her to find a new home. I was actually, so <clears throat> I was fine until the painting talked, and yeah. then uh, that <laughs> struck me as a bit funny. It, it is a fabulous painting. So it's been with you for, for some time. It's big. Yes, it it's is. Big. How big is it's your office? Uh, uh, too big for, too Obviously. small for that. Well, wow. okay, but, uh, I was going to say. Anyway. <laughs> it's pretty remarkable, though. It's very, very beautiful. Nice uh, statement piece to have in home. Thank you. And uh, so. Speaking of statement pieces. Yes. Well, Scott was going to talk a little bit about our Coke button. Oh, we brought the Coke. Now, we've had this, this on before. Scott we, brought his button. <laughs> we have. We've seen this just about every show. This yeah. was okay. kind of the, the concept was to show you the types of items we buy. Of, of course. course. Americana, iconic collectibles. But the purpose today, we also want to say we sell items. The oh. painting, yes, we sell items right. like the Coke button. And in mm -hmm. fact, even slightly larger examples of the Coke button. <laughs> Ready? Wait for it. Oh. Oh! Oh! So what we have here is not a modern item. We actually have Ooh. a very old Sorry, vintage JJ. from Sorry. the early oh, yeah. 50s. This was one of the first buttons that would have been made, mostly for advertising purposes. Uh, this started in 1947. They started using that in the shops to sell the Coca-Cola. Well, this I one's a little bit new, like maybe 1951. My my button is smaller than John's button. Uh, <laughs> it's very true. It's very I can, nice, I can see that hanging on the side of a gas station Absolutely. Or this very one cool. actually luckily was hung inside because the ones outside, of course, they got weathered, damaged, better. and such. Cool. These items started to come inside as part of the decoration. They would use it as interior decor. Neat. So luckily, someone uh, kept that very well preserved. That's not been redone, touched up at all. So we have items like that. And then another item such as what this, is this, yeah, this is, is this? quite unique. This is actually done by an artist, or he was a character artist. His name is Al Hirschfeld. Mm -hmm. uh, he is very well uh, world-renowned. He was doing uh, work for the Herald, the Times. Uh, he even did some mm -hmm. old, old movie posters. Um, um, and items for things like Gone with the Wind, uh, even uh, uh, Wizard of Oz. He was wow. a very early artist that went on to do stuff. In fact, you mentioned earlier, JJ, about Joe Perry. Mm -hmm. One of the, uh, the viewers may know some of his work. He did Draw the Line uh, from Aerosmith, the, oh, the wow. front cover. Uh, oh, so this is classic neat. stuff you're going to see with just the black and white lines. And there's a, there's this, a photo of this him actually, actually working on this The exact piece, correct. Wow. When you're dealing with autograph memorabilia, a lot of people are very familiar. You want to have certificates of authenticity. Mm -hmm. You want to know who did it, uh, who's, who's attesting this is real. We have that. We have the full certification. But as JJ mentioned, we have a step further. The, photo we, the real man <laughs> even signing the exact item. Okay. So items oh. like this is the type of things that you might come on into the store and see. Not just something you're going to go to a, a mall or a shop. Maybe even not even find something this unique on the internet. Yeah, no so problem. come on down mm -hmm. and check out what we've got. It's, ever, it's changing just constantly. So some of the stuff you have to go down to see because, frankly, it's too heavy to bring to the studio. Yes. Uh, what did you almost bring in that you couldn't? <laughs> we really wanted to bring in Optimus Prime and the, the Bumblebee. The Transformer. Yeah, the yeah. Transformer robots. Uh, Optimus Prime is seven and a half Whoa. feet tall. Uh, I bought it. My goodness. Checking it out carefully. <laughs> and so <laughs> when cool. it was delivered yesterday morning to the shop, I thought, well, we'll just throw it in the truck and bring it to the shop, uh, to the show. Yeah. Well, it weighs about 800 pounds. Wow. Oh. And so it really was difficult. Yeah. And so we have to settle for a picture. Totally understand. <laughs> the picture, you know. But gets, Optimus Prime will be for sale. 
Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, if they buy Optimus Prime and the orange painting at the same time, they're going to get a discount and free delivery. What? Free delivery? <laughs> yes. He's going to throw his back out for you. That's <laughs> what. As Scott that's, was saying, we do really have a lot of unusual things for sale. Yeah. This, uh, we have, mm. that's a $10,000 coin. What? what? And so we have investment quality pieces. This Rolex is from the late 40s, early 50s. Wow. And oh, so, no kidding. Oh, yeah. And so we not only buy these things, which we've been talking about for many weeks on the Morning Blend, mm -hmm. but we sell everything you see here, plus a lot of other unique items. That's awesome. I know you do, you do walk-ins, you do appointments, and at the end of the day, you're going to walk in, you're going to be treated fairly, whether you're buying or you're selling, you're going to get uh, some great knowledge coming into Las Vegas Coin Company. Yeah, and we buy estates. Uh, many, many people have inherited collections of things Absolutely. and they don't know what to do with them. We have a gentleman coming into the shop today. He's downsizing and moving out of the country. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. He's been a collector all his life. And Ooh. so he's got a house full of collectibles. Oh, so we do, we do that. That's, that's, that's really incredible. It's great having you. Thank you so much. Great to have you great guys. Great to see you, Orange Painting. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, yeah, oh. Las Vegas Coin Company. She's very friendly. She is. Uh, <laughs> Southeastern <laughs> Avenue right across the street from BJ's Restaurant and Brew House. South of the 215, their number and website are right there on your screen. Las Vegas Coin Company, a proud sponsor of the Morning Blending, fine collector of art that talks.